Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Okay, so we're going to go over the, the second program that is going to be available, folks, in the next, uh, basically, four or five days. So who's going to be eligible, okay? So in, in, any small business with fewer than 500 employees, um, any, uh, let's see, any individual who operates as a sole proprietor, this is really important, a sole proprietor, because we, we have many questions about if you don't have any employees, uh, an individual who operates as an independent contractor, okay, that's going to be the 1099 employees, uh, an individual who is self-employed or regularly carries on any trade or business, okay, so this is straight out everyone, okay. Uh, in addition, okay, now what are the, basically the lenders going to be looking for? So what happens with this program, and this is what's going to be important that you get together, what's going to happen, folks, is that you are going to want um, your last two years of taxes together, uh, the way this program is going to work. So remember, the first one, you didn't need anything. This program here, you're going to need proof uh, of what's going on. You, two years of taxes together. So get those together. Then what's going to happen is that you are going to be basically giving them, it's cause, so this is going to be coming off of a, a lender. So the bank that you're dealing with, what's going to happen is this. The SBA is going to be bringing this information to the banks, which they haven't done yet, by the way, okay? It's on the way. I suspect next four or five days they'll get it. The banks are going to want to do this because this is a fully backed deal by the SBA. They have everything to win and nothing to lose, okay? So what ends up happening is that they're going to want the two years of taxes. They're going to want the aspect of what was your payroll let's say in February. So if the payroll is in February, the bottom line, we're going to use the case of 10,000. You multiply it by 2.5, which is 25,000. You're going to get a loan for $25,000. And the day, so the, the, we're going to bring this forward. And so what's going to happen is this. Now, the bottom line is that this program, in case we have any really large businesses out there, this program, uh, bottom line, get goes up to $10 million, okay? So you are talking about a monster one, okay? Um, now, now this is how this goes as to the aspect of how you can take a loan, and we're just going to stay with the $25,000 level, and bring the loan into a grant. And the way that it works is this. So let's say that we're at, we're at April 1st tomorrow, and let's say that by April 5th, at the ne next, this Friday, they come out with the actual documents. When they come out with the documents, I'm going to do another one of these so we can go all through it and get everyone as much money as they are allowed so that these businesses, all our businesses, can stay in shape. So what ends up happening is this. Let's say that we apply on April 5th. And let's say that we don't get the money until April 30th. We don't know yet how long it's going to take, but I'm going to say April 30th. So you get the money April 30th. What will happen at that particular point is this, is that the following eight weeks, you're going to be able to take the, your payroll cost. Let's just re read it right through so you can really see exactly how this works. You're going to be able to take your wages, the commissions, or similar compensation. You're going to be able to take the payments if you basically... Your, your clients get tips, okay, your employees get tips. You're going to be able to take your vacation time, parental leave time. If you're giving medical, you're going to be able to take your retirement benefits that you're giving your employees. You're going to be able to take your um, rent, electric, phone, cable, insurance, and plus payroll. And what ends up happening is this, is that from that day that you got that loan, going forward eight weeks, let's say that you, we'll just do it again, that your payroll was $10,000. If your payroll is still $10,000 going forward on that, on that eight weeks, that's $10,000 a month, okay? Bottom line is that the, the first month you have $10,000. The second month you have $10,000, your rent, let's say, is 2500 
Your utilities are another 2,500. Well, there's your 25,000. So what has just happened is that your loan has just gone into a grant, and you will not have to pay that back also. This is an amazing program, folks, okay? Please take advantage of it. And the question is, who pays for it all? Well, all the citizens of the United States have paid for it all because the bottom line is that this is inside the $2.2 trillion program that is out there signed into law, okay? You want to wrap your head around this, get on this paperwork ASAP. Um, the, the bottom line is that the... Okay, so let's read this in the context of sole proprietors, independent contractors, and self-employed individuals, because we know we have a lot of those out there. The sum of the payments of any compensation to or income of a sole proprietor or inde independent contractor, that is wage, commission, income, net earnings from self-employment or similar compensation, and that is amount is not to be more than 100000 in one year as prorated for the covered period. So what that means is this, folks, okay, is that they're not going to let you write off more than 100000 okay, in the context of payroll. So let's let's say that you get six or seven employees. Some of them make over a hundred thousand. You're only going to be able to write off the first hundred thousand. You're only going to get the maximum loan of that hundred thousand times 2.5 percent. That's how that baby works. Okay. Uh, will the loan be forgiven? The the borrower is eligible for loan forgiveness equal to the amount the borrower spent the following on the following items during the eight week period beginning on the date of the origination of the loan. So here we go. This is, we're going to do this once again. Payroll cost, using the same definition, payroll cost used to determine loan eligibility. Interest on the mortgage obligation incurred and the ordinary, if you own your building, the bottom line is that you're going to be able to write off the interest on the mortgage. You're going to be able to write off your full rent or leasing agreement. You're going to be able to write off the payments for electricity, gas, water, transportation, telephone, and internet. So the transportation, that's a big one too. Uh, if you have borrowers with uh, tipped employees, additional waivers, um, and of course the loan forgiveness is not going to exceed the, the principal. Uh, bottom line is that it's a great program, folks, okay? Wrap your head around it. You can go to the front page of TFNN. Uh, bottom line, we have both links out there. And as we go back, there was a question about the first program. Okay, so the first program, what I want you to get your head wrapped around is this. The first program, cost of goods. You don't have to worry about putting your payroll in the first program. That's the bottom line. All they're asking for in the first program, they're asking for the aspect of your gross revenue and your cost of goods. Now, if you're a service provider, your cost of goods are going to be dramatic. You could be a service provider, meaning you could have income of 200,000, 300,000, a million, and you could have cost of goods, zero. Don't worry about that, because that's what your cost of goods are. The bottom line, they, that is not going to make a difference in the aspect of how this works, okay? The real key is the 10,000 advance is they're saying that it's going to be in your bank account and three days after the complete op application. So what you should do is this. As soon as the program's over, get over to TFNN, you're already there, okay? Hit the button, okay, for the first program, fill it out. That would say that if you fill that out tonight, your days start tomorrow, okay? So we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If if we take a look at the aspect of what they're saying, that is saying that money will be in your bank account on Monday morning, that you can keep your employees going, that you can keep your family going, that you can keep your business going, because it's going to be a long road, folks, okay? And, you know, I use the 10000 uh, and that seems like a lot of money. That's not a lot of money when you're in business. We know it's not, okay? It's, it's not even close. Uh, it was a question, is the first program in advance of the second program? And yes, it is. What ends up happening, you can, the one program, you don't have to go for the second program. Uh, what ends up happening, you, you'll get the first program anyway. You can get the second program too, and it is part of the second program. But there's plenty of folks that basically probably won't go through the paperwork on the second program. And you should, folks, okay? You get four or five days right now 
to get your paperwork together, and it's not a lot of paperwork, okay? And don't worry, it's, you do not have to have this year's taxes done. What you do have to do for the business, the last two years, they're going to want those taxes. And then next week, what I'll do, I'm going to go over even a larger program, because both of these programs have very minimal um, restrictions. I, it just, almost every person in business should be able to get these programs, okay? The next program will be a full blown out SBA program that will go through, and it's not that much more difficult, but that program, the third program, would be actually a loan um, that you get to make sure that you can pay back a loan, okay? This is two different areas. The first two programs that we're talking about, the 10,000 is not paid back. If this is done correctly, and what the government wants on the second program is this. The government's going to be paying people either way. They're either paying them through a program like this, and they're paying us as small business owners, or they're going to be paying through unemployment and everything else, okay? So the bottom line is that that's why this program is out here. It's important basically to understand, okay, how it works. Um, you know, and, and we'll take it step by step, but it's, it's, a, it's a great way uh, to get people to stay in a positive cash flow, or at least stay in a cash flow. And I urge everyone out there, okay, please tell your friends about this program. This is, this can save, I don't care if I save one small business. The bottom line is that this is a really cool deal, okay, that you can really help people. And guess what? We're all paying for it, folks, okay? The reason that it's such a great country, we've paid our taxes, you do the right thing, you're up in the morning, you're working, it's what makes the United States, you won't stay in the gutter, you get up and say, hey, man, let's go, let's get this thing done, okay? So now it's up to each and every one of us to basically make sure that the programs are out there, get them to your friends so that they can stay in business also. The next thing that we're going to do after this, as soon as the information comes out about the $1,200 for every individual, okay, we're going to make sure that you have that information, okay? We're going to stay on top of this at the whole time so that every community can get as much as they should be able to get out of the emergency assistance that has basically come across, okay? So we appreciate your growling and prowling on us out here. Uh, remember, everything's on the front page of TFNN. What we are doing is this, okay? Uh, the producers are staying here. We're going to archive the show. We're going to get it on YouTube. We're going to have it on the front of TFNN so that you can just send it so these people tonight can basically start making this thing out, get this baby going so that we all can make it through uh, this time because it's, it's a wild one, folks. And it seems like it could be a lot longer than uh, we'd like, and it's important you know, to have cash. I said to Tommy in the show this morning, man, if this ever happened when I was just starting out, you know, a pizza place, the bottom line, you shut down, forget it. We couldn't, even, we were lucky we were paying electric bills then, man. Do you know what I mean? So the bottom line is plenty of people that are starting out. There's plenty of people that are in business that, you know, you start, you start turning around two or three weeks without income, it's a bad deal, okay? This is a way to get people income very quickly. Just do a little work. Please get on the phone, get on the email, send it to your friends. We all know people that are in business, folks, okay? This is, like, so unique. It's like, great, you know, you just you send them the link and just tell them, don't do it. Don't do anything else. Don't go have a cup of coffee. Don't have a beer. Don't do anything, okay? Get that thing done. You're talking about, uh, what? 70, uh, 20, yeah, 72 hours, they're saying that that's going to be in your bank account. Okay? Let's do it. And always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows, and whatever you want in life, whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it. Step into it. Take ownership and fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Make those calls. Do those emails. It's a beautiful thing. Bam! Look at them, folks.